girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Dazu, good girl. Eye contact with your dog is indeed a beautiful thing. Um, it really feels often to me like we're sort of sharing and recycling energy. And I also know for a fact that when I'm training my dog, eye contact is vitally important because if I can get my dog to look at me, almost 100% of the time they do what I ask them to do. This work is applicable for every dog handler team. If you don't have attention, you don't have anything. If you are not giving as well as receiving attention, you don't have teamwork. Eye contact should be an invitation for your dog to come on in, just like that. I prefer involvement to the terms commonly used here, like attention or focus. Involvement implies that there is a team effort and that the communication loop is wide open. Before you begin, Remember that it's normal for your dog to react to something sudden that startles them. She will probably always glance toward whatever startled her, but it should be a glance, not a commitment, not a change of attention from you to the distraction. Look at the recovery time. You know, how long did the dog look at the distraction? If your dog says, hey, what's that? But then looks right back at you, that's okay, that's pretty normal and unavoidable. If your dog says, hey, what's that? Oh, cool, what is that? That's not gonna work out. That means the dog is continuing to look at the distraction. Goal, the dog will attend and remain involved with the handler, ignoring other dogs, ignoring food, pigeons, people. The handler is the most important thing in the environment, the practical application. In daily life, we ask a dog to resist paying attention to many activities and distractions that are going on around them. Some of these activities are very interesting, much more interesting than you. This exercise is all about teaching the dog to remain on task, even though distracting circumstances are going on around them. One thing I don't use when I'm teaching this is leash corrections or verbal corrections implying disfavor. There's a really good reason for that. Nagging and other verbal chatter tends to make the dog's eyes glaze over and then pretty soon they're looking everywhere but at you. You need to become a part of the environment that the dog wants to attend to rather than a part of the environment to avoid.